Hello, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to continue our idiom lesson. In Malay, idiom is simpulan bahasa. This is formal pronunciation. In formal pronunciation, simpulan bahasa. Our simpulan bahasa for today is banyak mulut. Banyak mulut is talkative. Before I forget, for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. And for those of you who not clear yet about informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video, which is about confusing pronunciation. Formal pronunciation is banyak mulut. Banyak mulut. But informal pronunciation, which I'm going to use for this video, this is the informal pronunciation. Banyak mulut. Banyak mulut. So, banyak means many. Mulut means mouth. So, if you direct translate, it means many mouth. Banyak mulut means talkative. English sentence here for the meaning. Someone who likes to talk. Someone who likes to talk. Formal Malay sentence. Seseorang yang suka bercakap. Seseorang yang suka bercakap. So, seseorang is someone who actually means siapa. But yang actually means that. Suka, like, bercakap from the root word cakap which means talk. If you direct translate from formal Malay sentence, it will be someone that like talk. But English sentence, someone who likes to talk. Somehow, if you want to say to people, this is for speaking. Orang yang banyak cakap. Or, orang yang cakap banyak. Orang is people. Yang is that. Cakap is talk. Banyak is many. So, orang yang cakap banyak. Ataupun, or even, orang yang banyak cakap. How you gonna use this simpulan bahasa in your conversation? Because we use it a lot in our conversation. I give an example here. This is English sentence. Can you shut up? I don't feel at ease even to do my work. Please don't talk too much. So here's the speaking part. Boleh tak awak diam? Boleh tak awak diam? Saya nak buat kerja pun tak senang. Saya nak buat kerja pun tak senang. Tolong jangan banyak mulut. Tolong jangan banyak mulut. So, boleh means can, tak from the word tidak which means not, awak is you, diam is shut up. So, can you shut up? Saya nak buat kerja pun tak senang. Saya, I, not from the word hendak which means want, buat, make, kerja, work. Sometimes are not that audible, some people say kerja, some people say kerja. So, up to you. Pun, there's so many meaning of pun. Sometimes pun can means even. Sometimes it can be not to mention. Or sometimes it can be also or to or even yet. So, in this sentence, I just translate even. Saya nak buat kerja. Direct translate, I want to make work. Or actually, I want to do work. Pun, even. Tak senang. Senang is actually means easy. It's from the word senang hati. Senang hati means happy. Somehow when you say tak senang, it doesn't mean that work is difficult but it means you cannot do it smoothly. For this one English sentence, I translate it at ease. It also means like comfortable. Comfortable in Malay is selesa. I continue. Tolong jangan banyak mulut. Tolong please. Jangan, don't, banyak, many, mulut is mouth. Banyak mulut is talkative. But somehow I translate, please don't talk too much. So I repeat again, boleh tak awak diam? Saya nak buat kerja pun tak senang. Tolong jangan banyak mulut. Boleh tak awak diam? Saya nak buat kerja pun tak senang. Tolong jangan banyak mulut. English sentence. Can you shut up? I don't feel at ease even to do my work. Please don't talk too much. I guess that's all our lesson for today. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page. 
so that I can have more time to make more videos. Thank you very much for watching me and see you again next lesson. Bye!